Great to see everybody. I'm John Zadar. This is January 31st, Monday. You're watching On Top and Hot. And of course, these are brought to you by your friendly neighborhood Discord, Titan Trading. If you're into OTC stocks, penny stocks, NFTs, cryptocurrencies, come on in. That's all we talk about. And did I mention it's free? So we are looking at GTCH. This is GBT Technologies Inc. They finished the day at 22 cents. They were up almost 19%. They're on the pink tier and current and they have a transfer agent verified. I would like to see a verified profile, but we don't see any red marks or any warnings. So we look good here. So what does this company do? Well, the company is a high tech company. They work in the internet of things. They work with artificial intelligence and they've got a lot of patents, IP, intellectual property. And this can make them a lot of money if they can convert all those concepts and patents into products, which is exactly what they are doing now. So they haven't got any catalyst news right now, but they've got so much potential that you need to take a look at them before they take off. So what sort of volume did they do today? Not bad. They did uh, just about three times as much, right? 93,000 to 289,000. What is their share structure? Well, look at that. We've stumbled onto a low float, my friends, which is pretty incredible. They have 2 billion authorized shares, only 33 million out on the market. And of that, about half of them, 16 million are in the float. We'll call it 17 million. That's not a bad float at all, especially for a company that's got as much IP as this one does. So their financials, what can we find over here? Uh, under the annual, they say 180,000. Take these three zeros, throw those down there. Uh, let's see if we look at the semi-annual. We get any different figures, still the same. And okay, so they're not making a lot of money right now, but I didn't expect that they were because they've got a lot of patents that have just been coming to fruition right now. And they've got so many, we just can't cover them all. I don't even know what they all are. Now, Disclosures, I don't think we have any new 8Ks or anything down here. S1s from 2022, no. This would be for some share movement, insiders, I'm not sure, but it's not really what we're looking for. So let's jump over to some information that I do have for you. Now, GBT's primary focus is on communication. They have a revolutionary new platform enabling products that would change the way people interact with technology and each other. They believe that improving the communications is the way to improve the modern world. Now they've got these new computer chips, these GTCH microchips, which they are creating and devising, more so than just what they can do, but how they're made. And one of the primary focuses that they are doing is giving these chips their own networks. They're getting their own IP addresses. So. You'll have your phone which has an IP address and the chip inside also has an IP address and it is communicating to other chips that can talk to it, but not just talk. They're going to actually share the workload. It's a very unique concept. Now this is for all sorts of devices. They plan on getting these chips in every device they can. I mean, of course, everybody wants that, but they tell us that their goal for the Gopher Insight microchip, which is another patented device, is to be installed in billions of mobile devices in the next few years. This will allow GTCH to create private, secure communication networks that will enormously benefit organizational and individual users. They think this will even put aside your fees that you're having to pay anybody to communicate on the Wi-Fi. You can go to this network instead. We will utilize this private secure network to improve the computing power, database management, internal memory, and security of devices equipped with Gopher Insight microchips. The potential is enormous and we are constantly developing more advanced features. Now they do a lot. They are invested into artificial intelligence, internet of things, all sorts of mobile technologies, integrated circuitry, which is really a very exciting aspect of this business, database management and sharing. Now these are all the different things that they are 
edging into. But the fact of the matter is, folks, AI and what they do can be used in every single sector, in every single business. And they are primarily focused right now on the medical aspect of it. They have lots of ways that they can help medicine. And it's very interesting. But they do lots of other things. In conjunction with our patents, GBT has also secured a wide range of intellectual property subsets in the areas of integrated circuits, artificial intelligence, AI, Internet of Things database management, cybersecurity, radio technology, ID facial recognition, and other things. Futuristic 3D multiplanar. Folks, wearable health devices, robotic health devices, semiconductor applications. It just goes on and on. And they are already invested in these things. It's not things they're talking about that they want to get into. It is what they're doing. And the the limitations of how they can use it, it's only in the mind. Like I said, this is a list of where they could start. It says we're talking about a range of systems ready for marketplace applications or working prototypes including Qterm, AI Avant, IO database management, GPS less tracking, honeycomb encryption. Those are all products they have. The Qterm is a very big one. The Qterm is a wearable monitoring health device that does a lot of things and telemedicine is getting huge. But what I am most excited about is the new technology that they're talking about with microchips. Three dimensional microchips. That's right. We're used to those flat things that are they got all the chips in the middle and all the cooling agents on the outside, right? Well, the wires that connect all of those things in the middle are connected in the center trapping heat they want to build these things as you see in the picture here and stack them up but it's not been done yet it's never been done and this company has actually got a program that designs how to make these things how to make them what they need to make them last the length of period they need to take the heat they need I mean they're just very smart designing software artificial intelligent programs helping them design 3d circuit boards which can make Things work a thousand times better. A thousand times. Think of that. Every time we get a faster AMD or Pentium processor, it's a big deal because we got this much more gigabytes. This is going to be a thousand times better. So this has a lot of applications that can be used in all sorts of places. Now I want to focus in on two of their applications they have going right now. They've got products out and they are focusing in on these but they are expanding. Let's start with perhaps the coolest of their projects. It combines 3D technology with x-ray vision capabilities and they call it Apollo. It is highly advanced motion detection system with realistic 3D graphics. Folks this is like a bat like bats. They send out the radio frequencies and those radio frequencies bounce off everything and to them it gives them a three-dimensional picture that they can see in their minds and they move around just with that image in their mind and that's what this does. The Apollo system is based on radio frequency waves to track an entity's motion and position in real time. RF signals bounce through entities and objects then reflect back with changes. Now one of the most practical aspects that they're doing this for right now is to find like blood clots in the arteries. Absolutely they've got this device and they use that and they go down the arteries and they can see where the blood clots are at. They can find them. There's lots of things. You could find anything buried in the ground, maybe behind a wall, a child missing. There's so many applications that we just haven't considered yet. And obviously security could make use of this as well. Now this is a market that is just starting. This market of 3D uh, X-ray vision is just beginning. They are looking at $7.5 billion by 2027 and they believe it can be used in healthcare, aerospace and defense, architecture and engineering, mining, entertainment and media.
Now the other product that is very interesting is their smart wearable device. This is a small button. You can put it on the back of your phone, you can put it in your pocket. The smart medical device uses Internet of Things wireless technology, a revolutionizing healthcare. These wearables can now link patients to doctors transmitting critical medical data in real time. Time. It doesn't matter where the patient is located, the technology is always connected. This gives them real-time patient monitoring, more personalized care, and increased safety. Now here's the big thing. This market is growing at a tremendous rate. They are predicting $23.5 billion by 2027. If this company only gets 1% of that, that is $230 million if they only get 1%. And I'll tell you what, this company is really advancing in their medical technology. They are using their little circuit boards for inside medical devices. They are trying to get this passed as a medical device, which will help it in the long run. As I said, they are involved in a lot of things. From wearable technology, to smart homes, to drones, Everything we know and love is being disrupted. They are working with robotics. They even have these programs that I was telling you, the telemed. Everybody that's on the telemed program, every single person, they have found a way to protect our information, keep our anonymity, but show proximity. What I mean by that is that you can use your phone to see everybody that uses this app and it's keeping the temperature of everybody. And you can see on your phone if there's somebody on this app in your region who's hot, who's got a temperature. And it's just by looking at this app, you can see how many people, if they're on that app and they want to get everybody on this network, you'd be able to see before you walked into a bar how many people looked warm in there. So it's, it's a very curious thing. Uh, the GBT difference is their powerful Avanti AI program featuring the cognitive capabilities and intelligence that empowers devices. Folks, we cannot comprehend the value of AI. AI is constantly improving. Unlike programs we make that are just the way they are and we have to go out and improve them, AIs are constantly learning, constantly improving, constantly adapting and becoming more. So they've got a lot of things they're working on. They are in home security. They've already got stuff going on there. They are involved with drones. Already got stuff going on there. There's so much you've got to do your own DD. I always say that, don't I? Well, that was abrupt. How rude of me. <laughs> We're over here at TOS now. Think or swim. Do you have a trading platform? No. Go get one. They're free at TD Ameritrade. Yeah, they are. All you got to do is sign up for an account. No money down. You don't even actually have to trade with them. Just keep your account open and they'll let you use Think or Swim just like me. So we are looking at GTCH. This is a six month, four hour chart. We got a high back here of a dollar 14. That is for six months. Let's take a look at the high over 52 week just so we have an idea. We got $3.95. This did come in a stimulus month when everybody got their checks from the government. Lots of people were throwing money at the market, so this is probably over stimulated. You can see she sat down here for about two months right on top of the 200 and then started to slip. Let's come back down to that four hour. So she is under the 200 day SMA all the way, pretty much under the 50, though she was dragging across the bottom of it, trying to stay up tight. But she was also hanging on to that purple blue 200 day haul. The 200 is like the SMA, but it gives more credence to current events. So. It is very close to where it should be. Now the good news is, is that the distance between the price and the 200 is narrowed down and it looks like we're about to try to get over it right there. We are pushing to get there and you can't get your price up until it starts to rise. MACD looks strong. We had a crossover right here and she is above the signal line and the RSI is pushing up nicely. Let's focus down to the 20 day one hour. So we got a low bubble on the 20 day period of 15 cents. Looks like she bounced off that low bubble, dragged her head again under the 200, started to fall until today without catalysts, without any news, she took off. Let's come in just a wee bit closer then. So there's our five day look. Now there's a low bubble for five days. Now this is what most people trade on. 
five day, one day. They don't trade on a 20 day or a one hour, not normally. So we've got a low bubble here on a five day and that's what everybody would see. Bing, and it comes up like a for sale sign. Neon, for sale. People look at this, there's lots of people that wait for for sale signs, low bubbles, and they go check out the value of a company. And if it's got value, they'll start to buy it. Well, there is no news. There is no catalyst. There are no new filings. They did file for five more patents just about 10, 12 days ago, but that's kind of old news, right? So I got to deduce that this low bubble shows value in the company, and that is why it's climbing. Now, do I expect it to continue climbing? Well, in the long run, yes. I don't expect there's any leftover momentum to uh, grab up tomorrow. I don't know if she's even gonna continue climbing tomorrow. We only had 8 billion shares today. So for what she did today, I'm impressed. But I don't know what tomorrow's gonna bring. And without Catalyst, the market may beat her up. It's not her fault. That's market sentiment. So I think this company has all sorts of potential with all of their IPs, all of their patents. They are starting off in medical. They are working in a lot of different actors. I even saw an article that they're working with sports betting. Yeah, their AI was being used to set odds on sports betting. You see how versatile this really can be. AI can be taught to do what we need it to do. So there is no limit to all the things that this company is gonna reach out and do with their AI. And as technology expands, so are they. I see this company as a great value at the current price of 22 cents. We had a high of $1.14 six months ago. Market sentiment on the OTC has been pathetic for the last six months. The price has been falling, not because of the companies, but because of market sentiment. Right now, as far as I'm concerned, is a good deal. And in the long run, I, I honestly can't tell you what this company is going to do, but I'll bet you they impress the hell out of all of us. So I'm going to be depending on your DD now to fill in the gaps on what I didn't cover. There's a lot more to know, folks. They've got a lot of innovative products they plan on bringing to market. Other sectors they are targeting. They just applied for a bunch of new patents, have a bunch of patents, and loads of IP. But since we haven't got time to look at all of that, let's just look at four reasons that you should consider this stock. Reason number one, they're tiny, they're minuscule, 5.2 million market cap. Yet, they've got an impressive IP portfolio. Lots of patents, lots of IP, intellectual property that they're going to commercialize and turn into billions of dollars. Second reason, society is reliant on medical devices and data to help track and analyze epidemics and pandemics. So with the FDA's approval of Q-Term, we can disrupt a potential 23.5 billion medical device market. Now we talked about this, 1% of that market will give them $230 million. But you're saying, oh, that's a long ways from billions. Okay, let's look at reason number three. Telemedicine is expected to rise by 38% over the next five years, this creates a massive opportunity for GBT's Q-Term and AI technologies. As the global artificial intelligence market size is expected to gain momentum by reaching $360 billion. Now fall back on that 1%, 1% of that is $3.6 billion, if that's all they get. Keep in mind, this company is working on that 3D chip. They are working on integrated uh, microchips that have their own IP address, creating their own private secure network. So they're not just selling a product. They're creating a user base that will just continually grow out. Very last reason here, folks, GBT's wireless motion detection patent application was approved for prioritized examination by the United States Patent and Trademark Office. This could help provide exclusive licensing in a potential $7.5 billion market. Now, this is a small market. It's just starting. X-ray vision? Yeah, it's just starting. But there's lots of room. People will figure out ways to use this and know not the one you're thinking about. Folks, your DD is more valuable than you know. I love DD because it's the way you find treasures. Go out there, dig around, you're going to have fun. Remember, the more you know, the more you're going to grow. See ya.